I mean, I feel like I've always played within the rules. I would never do anything to break the rules. The Wells report is in, and well, it doesn't look good for Brady. 104 days and 243 pages later, it's more probable than not Patriots personnel released air from game balls after being examined by referees. I had no idea how the balls got from the official's locker room to out on the field and so forth and so on and all that. That's not something that I have ever thought or concerned myself about game day. Those exonerated include ownership, Bill Belichick, and the rest of his staff. According to the investigation, there was no wrongdoing or knowledge of wrongdoing. Back on January 26th, Robert Kraft made these comments at the Super Bowl. I want to make it clear that I believe unconditionally that the New England Patriots have done nothing inappropriate in this process or in violation of NFL rules. In a statement released today, he said that sentiment has not changed. Those caught in the crosshairs include three people, Brady and two team employees, Jim McNally, the official's locker room attendant, and John Jastrzemski, an equipment assistant. The report details text messages between the two, implying that the Patriots quarterback requested deflated footballs. It also details McNally taking footballs into a bathroom where he stayed for 100 seconds, an amount of time the report called sufficient to deflate 13 footballs with a needle. Given all that evidence, it's more than probable that Brady was at least generally aware of the inappropriate activities. The Patriots have no plans to press the issue. Although Kraft was disappointed in the outcome, he, quote, will accept the findings of the report and take the appropriate actions based on those findings, as well as any discipline levied by the league. That discipline could be handed down in the next few days. Based on speculation for a possible Brady suspension, Las Vegas pulled the Pat season opener against the Steelers off the board. So much for an offseason.